today is Ukrainian traditional kalem as a source of inspiration in contemporary design. The interpretation of traditional ornament in modern materials sent us back to the roots to tradition coded in genes. Tradition continued and transformed today. The interpretation refers us to an artistic textile, peaceful, cozy, one that has the potential to develop and merge in contemporary art. So, on the one hand, traditional art with all its depth and symbolism, on the other, socially engaged and with lighting fast response to today demands uh, not what distinguishes them but what unites them. Ukrainian Harak Kilim is a phenomenon of Ukrainian folk culture which for many centuries has served as a marker of ethnic and national identity. Since there are numerous re regional features of Ukrainian rugs, there are also many interpretations of Kilim and a role they play in modern design. For today, we have a lot of scientific research evolved to the Kalem's phenomenon in historical and regional discourses. We have uh, today prominent monographs uh, since the beginning of the 20th century as Volodymyr Peshchansky, Dmytro Szczerbakivsky, Jakim Zapasko, Adam Zhuk, and a lot of researchers of younger generation. Especially contemporary scientific discourse of Ukrainian Kalem focuses on the few ways. First is related to introducing samples of traditional historical rugs into scientific circulation and tradition preservation. Second actual point of view focuses of translation of traditional Ukrainian kalim in a modern artistic era. There are Lukovska, uh, Olga, Zoya Chigusova, Tetyana Karavasilyeva, and a lot of um, scientists of young generation. Most masterpieces of Ukrainian kalims are well represented in scientific discourse. We have today a lot of kalims museum collection in Ukraine and in diaspora. For example, the finest collection of Ukrainian rugs viewing represented in the um, uh, Ukrainian uh, Museum in New York. We have a lot of kalems of uh, masterpieces of Ukrainian rugs viewing represented in Canadian collection, especially here in Kurt Center. We have a masterpiece of uh, Volenian Bukovena kalems and in Ukrainian Museum <laughs> in Edmonton, uh, Ukrainian Museum in St. John Cathedral also, and a lot of private collections of Ukrainian community. Forward about uh, definitions. Uh, Kelem, tag. Kelem, most used term adopted from Turkish Kelem uh, or Gilim, a flat view carpet known in Ukrainian historical source from 16th century, means a flat view tapestry used for mural standing or furniture covering. We know a lot of view technique of Kalev's viewing. Uh, Provident of them is Kruzlanya, similar to European tapestry viewing, <coughs> like inverted view. Other term, cover. All this term of Ukrainian carpets used for the first time in Kiev's Karus. A chronicle the, the, when fixed that after Prince Oleg died, he had been covered by cover. Cover similar term to English cover, yeah. Um, that mean blanked overlay carpet mantle uh, crust and also it's pile carpet with the same function to cover. In the 18th century, time, term cover has fallen into disuse. From his uh, this time, a rich pile 
Rags në Mblizhniki, was the dominant product of Gzu craftsmen in Karpate Mountain, and continue tradition pile of weaving till today. We have also term quartz, but uh, it's been similar to cover pile carpet, but rather functional than aesthetic viewing and using Carpathian region. The origin of Kelems, you know, in Ukrainian culture related to Turkey tradition, but adopted in Ukrainian ground for in different ways. There are a lot of different compositional or ornamental examples of Ukrainian rugs related to the each ethnic region, each weaving workshop and each craftsman in particular. Uh, the golden age of Ukrainian Kelem uh, was Baroque period in 18th century, first half of 19th century, when formed the dominant characteristic of aesthetic values of Ukrainian rugs. In the 18th, 19th century, completed the most recognizable sch scheme and patterns of Poltava Kelem. Uh, here you are. Uh, uh, with the rich natural floral ornament on, or floral rectangular floral claim of cave region or policia uh, region uh, uh, or pudilla claim with derevojitia it's a life tree of vase vazon vase with flowers. Uh, also, Volin geometric kilims, we can here uh, see um, that nice kilim here. Uh, Gutzul medallion kilim, Varetta striped uh, flat kilim, uh, pile weaving Gutzul Lijnik, but it's uh, that Lijnik is mod modified. And the rich floral Vruji, named Vruji <laughs> Bukovena Skele. It, uh, if it's possible to uh, summarize the aesthetic differences between traditional Kelims in regional context, we must say that as you move from uh, east to west of Ukraine, <laughs> the color scheme of the rugs changes from warm to cold shades, color shades, and the rich floral ornamentation becomes geometric. Uh, some. Um, Unusual, it's Kelem uh, Bukvena uh, Kelem in uh, Western Ukraine, it's floral Kelem. So, what the way of Ukrainian Kelem in, mod in modern artistic area? Uh, first, it's uh, um, preservation of tradition by copying of the uh, authentic samples of Ukrainian rugs, especially in uh, craftsman workshop, in long-lived projects such as Ikorakurs uh, in Vikno, in Kosi, Hutsul, Karpaty region, Vezhnitsa, Hlyniany near Lviv, uh, craft school, Reshetelivka, Poltava. Uh, transformation of traditional rugs through 2021 20, century in the context uh, of without the gap professional training. It's professional school, especially. Textile school, art school in Kiev, Lviv, Kosiv, Academy of Arts. And in Canadian diaspora, we have a uh, well known art textile school in Banff. Uh, 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 provided by Elizabeth de Holinati. Um, and a lot of traditional technique uh, te textile workshop. Next way is correlated to replicas in contemporary fine arts. And finally, Kelim is a rich artisan source of his inspiration in contemporary design and everyday mass market products. Uh, 
Uh, we have a lot of examples of uh, preservation of traditional kelims. Uh, here, uh, the kelim from uh, Ivan Fedorovich uh, craft uh, workshop in Viknov a village. Next, it's a transformation in the first half of the 20th century is a Hlinyane workshop, Zofia Strienska, nice uh, pattern of the modernization of Kalem. And now, uh, this Kalem is also made in the uh, uh, workshop in uh, Poland. Uh, it's our school has the Novia Shulga Kelem, Lviv Academy of Art, and is 70 years. And samples of new Kelem, uh, Natalia Pavuk, Hutsulschena. Uh, As you see, it's a, a transformation of traditional Kelem pattern. Uh, there are, there is uh, Kelem. Uh, from uh, Lviv College of Decorative Art. Uh, continuation of uh, rich Poltava uh, flower killing can be observed in the activity of weaving workshop in Rysetelivka. It's uh, East uh, Ukraine Poltava region. Uh, in uh, Olena Volodymerova killing from Rysetelivka and transformation of traditional killing uh, especially in the Olga Pulugina Kelims, which demonstrate a stylization um, of Barocco Pansky, Hetmansky Kelim. Today, um, Kelims, Olga Pulugina Kelims, um, is a marker of brave Ukrainian historical Kuzak period. A numerous of Pulugina Kelims decorate the Mariinsky Palace in Kiev. Uh, and uh, palace and uh, office of Ukrainian president now also it's transformed Polyugina Kelem um, um, flower Kelem. So we must consider replicas, transformation of Kelem in contemporary art and design. What and how? What from traditional Kelem? artists can explore like a source. There are, first of all, it's natural material and traditional techniques. Very actual source in eco uh, trends today, in eco design. Second is pattern, ornamental motifs, uh, composition, especially composition and color scheme. scheme. Natural materials and traditional technique of Kelim's making are used especially in the preservation contest and spread in the professional textile workshop area. To the topic of preservation of traditional material, I want to remember the word of um, Elizabeth Holinati. Uh, best known artist in Ukrainian Canadian crafts movement from the memory in ex exposed in Alberta Royal Museum. And she said the pattern unfold from mind to hand to loom to clothes. Uh, nice words, and uh, we can say that artisan technique inspires tradition preserving. Pattern or ornamental motif are so rich in Ukrainian rugs weaving and can be used on different ways and contest in different modification form. Most recognizable is a sort of modern artist Kelim scheme composition in verbal tradition. We often often appeal to a Kelim pattern. What it's mean Kelim pattern? It's mean a mesh or net composition based on check desk mesh or diamond rhombus mesh, viewed uh, or unviewed. Second is a type of medallion composition that like a Turkish origin 
and last more usual is stripes repeat composition. Color scheme, as we will see later, the region harmony of various color shades can be a prominent source of inspiration. How? Which way? Uh, which way of translation there are in contemporary design practices? Direct borrowing. Uh, it's a borrowing of composition of traditional kilim, pattern and color scheme. Uh, it's a useful part of uh, postmodern art which explore all human artifact, heritage and decorative applied art special, including rich rugs ornament. Stylizing pattern simply uh, simplification, color saturation. This way of translation is related uh, to the adaptation of traditional decorative art to the contemporary fashion trends, especially in scenography, uh, industrial textile and ready to wear fashion. Stylizing involves uh, a simplification of forms, saturation of rugs ornament with color, at the same time, uh, the Kalem's origin seems recognizable. We can verify uh, the source, shape, pattern, color scheme, and ethnic region. And the last is author's conceptual interpretation of modern shapes. Uh, this way of Kalem's translation in contemporary art is most interesting and most complicated because it revolves to the author's vision outdoor conception. Sometimes the Kalem origin is recognizable. Often we cannot read the origin. We just can make some association, some primary color, color of pattern or ornamental shape. So inspiration in contemporary art. Uh, Polish artist, it's interesting, Polish artist, Ukrainian origin, Joanna Rusin, adhering to the copying of rugs patterns, gives her glimpse a three dimension, <laughs> thanks to the author technique. Looks like a puzzle craft. So, traditional kalim composition gains volume. Here as uh, the inspiration in uh, Joanna Rusin Kelly. Uh, another way of translate to translate Ukrainian traditional Kalim viewed by Lviv textile artist Natalka Shimin in the project Transformation. Uh, in very innovative uh, and provocative project, Natalka Shemin direct borrows old Bukovena Kelim, putting the old pattern dice on the bubble wrap, uh, uh, bubble wrap net. It's very <laughs> innovative him. And what she say? Uh, she says. My work is an example of this actuality. You can put effort into the restoration or renewal of the carpet. I believe that this work of, uh, of craftsmen who are very professional can make copy, paint with natural dyes, but there are so many things that need to be preserved, copied or restored that they simply cannot do it. My task is, I see it, is actually to raise uh, this topic, not solve it, only to touch on it, to show that it exists. And then many people will begin to pay attention to it, will begin to interest it. Uh, Young by well known, uh, known in Lviv artistic era Teresa Barabash, <coughs> complete the traditional Kalim striped scheme with volume space forming board between space of art and space of viewer. It's 3D composition. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I refer where does tradition and experiment begin? 
uh, where is the space of the work of art and where is the space of viewer? Where does the textile zone end and the media zone begin? Balancing on the border of the real and the visible, author made the concept of fragile balance between objects, something real and immaterial. And Kalem also is a source of interpretation. Replicas, uh, other different <laughs> example of traditional mass market, mass culture Ukrainian Kalem from Soviet period made the main concept of Tantalka Husar, Canadian Ukrainian artist in the artwork Torn Heart from Ontario Art Gallery. Here is a phenomenon of Soviet kitsch culture, Kalim decorated by plot composition with two realistic deer symbolized the distorted but recognizable aesthetic taste of people under Soviet reality mixed with the American pop culture artifacts. Summary in the fine art experience, uh, we can see various examples of Kalim replicas related to personal, powerful artist concept, unique code in which everyone can to read the contest by themselves differently. Uh, what are the possibilities of Kalim's translation in modern design? Most useful area of Kalim's pattern translation is a graphic design. For example, designer of successful uh, additional brand Agrafka, in we appeal to the direct borrowing of traditional Kalim Kozaka through modeling the background of male and female faces of their book cover compositions. The Kalim net is barely vis visible, but directs the viewer to the subject of the book, Ukrainian uh, poetry. It's the next example, very interesting example. Same graphic design group, Ukrainian Kalim, used as a source of ornamental shapes and color scheme in the building modern pop culture superhero. Here you are. <laughs> it's Elena Hussein. Their own booth with cut edges, prominent motif of Polisia Kelim Kozaka became basis creative inspiration. Color scheme direct borrowed from Kelim has acquired an unsurpassed harmony. There are many examples of the use of Kalem patterns in graphic design. Very often artists use composite scheme of the Kalem, where they insert the author's ornament or images. For example, uh, also uh, some inspiration, Edmonton graphic designer Marta Chudulinska Build it here a lino cut ice based on a medallion com type of uh, composition of rock in which she inscribed the three periods of human vision. And very demonstrative and most recognizable at the Kalem's inspiration in modern fashion design in the field of haute couture and ready to wear mass market fashion. Ukrainian fashion appeals to the ethnic motifs periodically, depending on the waves of patriotic upliftment of society. And hence the phenomenon of Ukrainian modern Veshevanka, which today is modeled not only on the basis of copying embroidery, but is often inspired by the Ukrainian Kalim. Most fancy ethno clothes produced by uh, Yulia Magde, Vita Kin, Lyubov Chernikova, Roxelana Bhutska, modeled by influences of Kalim pattern, color scheme, and their interpretation. 
So, in fashion uh, net, the Shivanka by Vita Kin, we can see styling of traditional Kalem's rhombus with cut edges, like prominent motif. Only two colors, smooth stripes and smooth rhombus. It is not worth it that today we have so simple way <laughs> to style in Kalem pattern. As you can see in this slide presented a sample, it's fragment of Bukovena Kalem exhibited in this in this room. And just two clicks uh, in PowerPoint and garment designed by by Vita Keen for Demi Moore <laughs> actress. The pixelization of pattern and putting it in new modern form is a prominent way uh, of Kelem's translation today's fashion. And a uh, similar way represented the ethno fashion uh, best known young designer from Lviv, uh, Julia Magdic. She designed fancy garments for Ukrainian stars and foreign celebrities like May Maskey, One Mask Mother, for example. Different point of view. Oh, it's uh, Julia Magdic. Different point of uh, view to the Kalem inspiration we can see in the Ethno Suits by Lyubov Chernikov. Designer appeals to the traditional form and pattern of Gutzulvereta and modified the destructed dress silhouette. For the mass market ethno suite, designer proposed cheap and fabric by replacing weaving or embroidery by colorful floral print like Roxolana Bohutska uh, presented. In general, we can say that in fashion design, the Kalem inspiration are limited by the pattern or weaving technique inspiration. Very interesting examples of Kalem translation we can observe today in the mass market ready to wear fashion and accessories. Fashionable exclusive bags, uh, we can see um, designed by Olga Pulugina also. It's a fragment of rugs with traditional material and technique saving. Dominant pattern is direct borrowing from the famous flower and birds Ukrainian Kelly. Fragments of floral motif copied from Pudilia Kelims were successfully used for uh, gadget covers by the publishing company of Rodovit in Ukraine. This is one of the bright ways of popularizing the heritage of national art among young people. Similar example we can see in other culture today and mass market also. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like it craft of the indigenous people in Canada for popularization or rich textile tradition, the recognizable rhombus with cut edges, which is universal pattern of different culture tapestry, became a most useful ornament in all of the world textile crafts products. So. Net Kelem schemes and stylizing rhombus form today is a wide base for design creativity. Like in sweaters, uh, designer for young people by brand uh, Mem, Mem Store. We can see simplification of form, pattern, saturation of color. And the Kelem origin seems recognizable definitely. As a summary about new design experiment uh, from brand Your Way Com UA. 
be who you want to be, stay true your beliefs, choose what you like. Slogan typical for global trends of people young generation. In an unusual way, designers from your way uh, responded to the public request of young people during the war with Russia. Exploring a cognizable marker of national identity, uh, of national masculine pattern, uh, they mix the visual and verbal message of war by collage method in modern silhouette and quads form. Patriot weaves inspire patriot symbols. Here we are, Ivan Franco, Taras Shevchenko, Necessary Stepan Bandera, and <laughs> Gregory Skovoroda dressed in fashionable, fashionable suits decorated by the borrowed Kalim's ornament. This is a real homemade Kalim on the court. That is why each coat is unique and may differ from the photo. Say from coat collage, best known Gutsul Baba Chukotech. <laughs> Finally, we have a patriotic mix of visual and verbal language memes that shape today in a humorous way to uh, attitude of Ukrainian to the terrible military reality. So there is a way, there is a new actual life of Ukrainian Kalim, and I'm convinced that traditional pattern, composition, and color scheme direct borrowed from our heritage will be this thread that connect traditions with contemporary design. That what not distinguish them, but what unite them. Thank you so much for attention.